Macaws are a group of New World parrots that are long-tailed and often colorful. They are popular in agriculture or as companion parrots, although there are conservation concerns about several species in the wild. Their lifespan is about 40 to 50 years. Clutch size of an hyacinth macaw is 1 to 4 inches and length is 90 to 100 centimeters, blue and yellow macaw is 81 to 91 centimeters, scarlet macaw is 79 to 97 centimeters, red-fronted macaw is 60 centimeters. Average wide of the macaw between 1.2 to 1.7 kilograms. There are 19 species of macaws, including extinct and critically endangered species. In addition, there are several hypothetical extinct species that have been proposed based on very little evidence. Several hypothetical extinct species of macaws have been postulated based on little evidence, and they may have been subspecies, or familiar parrots that were imported onto an island and later wrongly presumed to have a separate identity. The majority of macaws are now endangered in the wild and a few are extinct. The Spix's macaw is now probably extinct in the wild. The Glaucus macaw is also probably extinct, with only two reliable records of sightings in the 20th century. The greatest problems threatening the macaw population are the rapid rate of deforestation and illegal trapping for the bird trade. Prehistoric Native Americans in the American Southwest farmed macaws in establishments known as feather factories. International trade of all macaw species is regulated by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Flora and Fauna sites. Some species of macaws, the scarlet macaw, Ara macau, as an example, are listed in the site's appendix I and may not be lawfully traded for commercial purposes. Other species, such as the red-shouldered macaw, Diocida canobilis, are listed in Appendix 2 and may legally be traded commercially provided that certain controls are in place, including a non-detriment finding, establishment of an export quota, and issuing of export permits. Macaws eat a variety of foods including seeds, nuts, fruits, palm fruits, leaves, flowers, and stems. Safe vegetables include asparagus, beets, bell peppers, broccoli, butternut, carrots, corn on the cob, dandelion greens, collard greens, hot peppers, spinach, sweet potatoes, tomatoes and zucchini. Wild species may forage widely, over 100 kilometers, 62 miles, for some of the larger species such as Ara urana blue and yellow macaw and Ara ambigua great green macaw, in search of seasonally available foods. Some foods eaten by macaws in certain regions in the wild are said to contain toxic or caustic substances which they are able to digest. It has been suggested that parrots and macaws in the Amazon basin eat clay from exposed river banks to neutralize these toxins. In the western Amazon hundreds of macaws and other parrots descend to exposed river banks to consume clay on an almost daily basis except on rainy days. Donald Brightsmith, the principal investigator of the Macaw Society, located at the Tombo Pata Research Center TRC, in Peru, has studied the clay-eating behavior of parrots at clay licks in Peru. He and fellow investigators found that the soils macaws choose to consume at the clay licks do not have higher levels of cation exchange capacity, ability to absorb toxins, than that of unused areas of the clay licks and thus the parrots could not be using the clay to neutralize ingested food toxins. Rather, the macaws and other bird and animal species prefer clays with higher levels of sodium. Sodium is a vital element that is scarce in environments greater than 100 kilometers from the ocean. The distribution of clay licks across South America further supports this hypothesis, as the largest and most species-rich clay licks are found on the western side of the Amazon basin far from oceanic influences. Salt-enriched, NaCl, oceanic aerosols are the main source of environmental sodium near coasts and this decreases drastically farther inland. 